What's up everybody, it's Furious Frank Stowe here from PlayerEssence.com and today we're going to be looking at my E3 2013 predictions for Nintendo. I'm going to be doing these in packs of threes. Every single Sunday you're going to be able to come back here, check out my predictions. And remember, these aren't going to be regular predictions or predictable predictions like, oh, Retro's going to have a new game at E3 or Metroid or something that we've already reported before. This is going to be news or you know, reveals that I think are big megaton reveals that nobody saw coming. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into my first prediction. Coming in at number three, we're going to have a double pack here. We've got Kingdom Hearts 3 and Final Fantasy Versus 13 are both going to be announced for the Wii U. Not as exclusive, but as multi-platform, but it is going to be on the Wii U. And there's a couple reasons why I think this is so. First of all, Square Enix, we all know, is in bad shape right now. They are struggling financially. Nintendo has came in and saved one of their IPs coming over to the West. So that's going to be Bravely Default Flying Fairy. So maybe there's more partnerships that we don't know about between Square Enix and Nintendo. Plus, Square Enix also has the X Human Revolution Director's Cut coming out for the Wii U. So I think Nintendo's trying to have a nice little partnership with Square Enix here, especially to get some of those RPGs that a lot of Nintendo fans would really like to have on their system. At number two, we're going to have Miyamoto's new IP is a shooter. And yes, when I say shooter, I mean some form of shooter. It's not going to be something like Call of Duty or Battlefield or something like that, but it's going to be something that's along the lines of, let's say like a Geist or something like that that came out for the GameCube or like a PN03, some type of weird different type of shooter that we didn't see coming at all. Of course, I don't know if this is going to happen or not. I'm just making my prediction and I think it's going to definitely be it's something different. His new IP is going to be something that he's never done before. It's not going to be like Pikmin, it's not going to be like Mario or Donkey Kong. It's going to be something drastically different than we've seen before from him. And coming in at number one, we are going to have the Wii U gets re-revealed with a brand new marketing campaign. And that's going to come with Wii Fit U and Wii Sports 2. So Nintendo is not selling as many units as they would have liked up to this point. But that doesn't mean it's over yet. So I really think at the E3 press conference, Nintendo's really going to focus on trying to bring in some of those casual gamers that aren't, you know, that aren't there yet or have not upgraded from the Wii to the Wii U. And of course, two great ways to do this is of course is getting Wii Fit U out and also Wii Sports 2. Of course, that was the most one of the most successful launch games for any system ever and that's what brought a lot of people into the first the original Wii. So I definitely think by making Wii Sports Two and putting that on the Wii U along with Wii Fit U, you can definitely bring in more casual gamers, more of those people that were into the Wii craze and bring them onto Wii U. Now, this has to be um, a company with brand new marketing. I know they, they had that television squares um, type deal or whatever the case that was. I mean, I'm not sure what that was, but I think they're gonna have to bring in a little bit different marketing. I think it's gonna have to be more like the Wii would like to play marketing that we saw back when the Wii came out. Of course, not the same thing, but something that's very similar to it or something that's like it that people can relate from and people can relate to back when the Wii was first coming out and sub subsequently after the Wii came out. So hopefully we're gonna see that. As far as my predictions go, that's all I have for right now. Make sure you check out the website, www.playeressence.com. We got news, reviews, trailers, tips, and if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. All right, once again, I'm Fierce Francis. Come back next Sunday for our next set of three of E3 predictions all the way till E3. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.